Hey guys, Freddy here. Welcome back to another Retro Magazines. And this time I'd like to cover this, Challenge Magazine issue 43. Now Challenge Magazine is one of my favourite ma uh, role-playing magazines because it mainly focuses on science fiction gaming, but also the games of Games Designers Workshop, which I'm a personal big fan of. So it covers all of their games, the Traveller series of games, Twilight 2000, Space 1889, even Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. So many fun games in there. But it also co covers science fiction gaming in general. So things like the Star Wars role-playing game from West End Games, which is an absolute personal favourite of mine as well. Um, Star Trek from Faza, another amazing game. Shadron, Cyberpunk, so many different science fiction games, rather than focusing on fantasy as so many role-playing magazines do. Now, as usual, I've shared a bunch of these articles with Patreons over on our Patreon. So, if you'd like to get involved and have a discussion and a look at, through those articles, please join us on the Patreon in the description down below. We'd love to see you over there. Anyway, let's have a look at Challenge Magazine, issue 43. So, this is Challenge Magazine, issue 43. Now, the cover's an absolute treat to look at, as they usually were with Challenge Magazine, as is the interior artwork and the quality of writing. But this Challenge Magazine is produced by the core team from Games Designers Workshop. The people who are actually publishing role-playing games were also the guys writing articles for this magazine, mainly because they were fans of the games it contains. Now we look through, and we've got Wesley Kuwata and Michelle Sturgeon. Well, Michelle Sturgeon was one of the core writers on various supplements for Traveller. Lauren K. Wiseman, who sadly passed away a few years ago, I think it was 2017, um, was one of the founder members of Games Designers Workshop, one of the guys who'd formed the company to write Traveller. Lester W. Smith is absolutely famous, and Marcus L. Rowland. These guys are really respected within the industry, and they were writing articles for this magazine. So this is quality work. Inside, we've got a nice advert for Battletech, including one of the novels, um, Air to the Dragon, by Robert Charette, who also wrote Shadrun novels, I seem to remember. Then we've got a subscription form for Challenge Magazine, and then we're into the table of contents. And you can see that while they are only supporting a few games in here, Twilight 2000, Mega Traveller, Space 1889, uh, 2300 AD, Star Wars, Star Trek, Renegade Legion, Wire 40k, and Albedo, um, they've got multiple articles. So for Mega Traveller, we've got four different articles in here, including an adventure, a uh, type of starfighter for the game, Space 1889, we've got an adventure, generating American characters, and a crossover with Cthulhu, Cthulhu 1889. For 2300 AD, we've got new cyber equipment, Australian characters, um, the AECA, uh, Community in the Sky, and L5 Habitat. For Star Wars, we've got On the Dark Side, Stardate Chronology of the Enterprise for Star Trek, Armored Cavalry in the CAF, Balancing Space Hulk, 40k, and Tactical Strike. And we can see this was published in April, May 1990, because this was another bi-monthly magazine at the time. I believe issue 51, it became monthly for a while, but that only stayed for a year or so. And after that, Games Designers Workshop sadly went out of business, so the magazine went out of print. We've got from the management, talking about the magazine, different changes within it. And then we've got the letters from the readers. And then we're straight on to Shelty Holiday. Now this is a Twilight 2000 adventure set in the Shetland Islands, north of Scotland. Now I've had a read through this and there doesn't seem to be much to differentiate it. The big thing about this is it's laying out that the oil fields off Scotland are extremely valuable because people didn't nuke the sea during the Twilight War. So the oil rigs kind of survived, but there was fighting over getting them to pl provide oil afterwards. Now, I find it amusing that the map here has Ayr, Great Britain and Scotland, as if this big island, which is called Great Britain, Scotland's not part of. But... I suppose it's just indicating where Scotland is, but it's everything north of here. The Orkney Islands, the Shetland Islands, and the Faroe Islands, which are Danish, I believe. Um, continuing through, it describes the islands. Um, basically, they were Danish originally, but became Scottish through a deal between royalty hundreds and hundreds of years ago. The Danes wanted a loan, so they traded the islands with the Scots. 
Um, we've got a map of the islands here. Um, so we've got Stennis, different places, um, Stella Firth, Lerwick, which is the capital of the Shetland Islands. And we go through different encounters they could have there, what it's like because they end up getting shipwrecked on the island as part of it, um, firefight at the croft, different characters they would meet, and they were into trouble in paradise. So that was the complete adventure for Twilight 2000. Not the longest, but we've got Mega Traveler, Traveler Adventure here, so it details it. Um, I haven't really read through this one, but there's nice characters in there, a lot of background information. And then we've got Sours, the Claws of Space, detailing a type of Starfighter for Mega Traveller. Um, Traveller News Service. So the Challenge magazine evolved from the Traveller's Aid Society newsletter. So it kept on the Traveller's News Service. Um, with updates from throughout the galaxy. Adventure ideas, basically. Grizzong, an article for Mega Traveller. Um, introducing new staff. So we've got Miss Earl Sturgeon there, the managing editor, Lauren K. Wiseman, associate editor, and Julia Martin, the associate editor. <clears throat> Rata and Corrigenda. So different corrections to publications by Games Designers Workshop. The Errata for the Heavy Weapons Guide, Temple of the Beastmen, Sky Galleons and Mars. We've got a challenge mini epic, a small cartoon here. We're on to an adventure for Space 1889, Secrets of the Ancients, with a Martian pumping station, different generators, etc. It's not much of an adventure, it's only about four pages long, but there's some interesting stuff in there. Fleshing out Mars a bit. You can always tell a Yankee, but you can't tell him much. Um, introducing American characters. Um, obviously Space 1889 is very much Victorian gentlemen and ladies in space so cowboys joining them is kind of a thing it's very much like the journey to the center of the earth where it's the american and the british scientists who go and then we've got cthulhu 1889 basically taking the cthulhu mythos into the world of space 1889 a nice crossover um even if the alien there does look a bit geiger-esque rather than cthulhu-esque or lovecraftian so it talks through the rules, how to adapt them, and we've got a suggested uh, scenario. A souvenir of Mars. Got adverts, various miniatures, the different boxes you can buy, the Soldiers of the Queen or Legions of Mars. We've got cyber equipment for 2300 AD. Obviously it's sort of near a future and tended to be a bit cyberpunk in its style. An advert for... Death Watch program? No, sorry, it's not an advert. It's, yes, it is. A Cybertech adventure coming in February. So it's advertising that it's coming soon. Um, we've got the different types of cyberware here, including small robots, oxygenators, different weapons. Where you from, mate? Um, introducing Australian characters into 2300 AD, their backgrounds. The American Extrasolar Extra Solar Colonization Administration, so another government department to use. Different conventions that were going on in 1990. An L5 habitat, community in the sky. Some background for a giant space station sitting at one of the L5 zones around Earth. One of the stable places you can put things into orbit. On the dark side. So we're talking about creating dark side characters. So it's got ideas here. You know, the Imperial Aristocrat. This character likes the Empire and the luxurious fruits of Imperial service. And it suggests the different templates you could use from the rulebook. The Arrogant Noble, Old Senatorial, Old Retainer, Young Senatorial. Um, but talking about how they might be working for the Empire and falling towards the Dark Side. Imperial Loyalists seduced by the Dark Side. So the Alien Student of the Force or Failed Jedi you could use in this. Fallen from Grace, Time Servers different equipment they can use, scenario guidelines, including the Nuns of Gavaroon, which is obviously a play on the guns of Navarone. Um, it's an idea for going onto an asteroid and sabotaging things at the command of Lord Vader, basically. We've got a chronology of the Enterprise. Well, this is very much made up. 
Um, it's got ideas here for different starships. Um, I believe it mentions like the Enterprise C being a certain class. Where is it? The USS Enterprise NCC 1701C is launched this Alaska class battle cruiser. Well, it wasn't. Um, we found that out far later that it was Ambassador class. Anyway, it's a nice way of sort of fleshing out the timeline a bit when you've got the next generation and you've got the original series and don't know really what's going on much between them. Unifying the chronology, as they suggest. Armored Cavalry in the CAF for Renegade Legion. A subscription card for White Wolf magazine. And suggestions on how to balance Space Hulk. Now, Space Hulk is an amazingly good board game. I believe I've covered it on the channel before. But it gives you ideas how to balance it a bit. Because some of the uh, missions in it are unbalanced and really easy for one side or other to complete. Um, Tactical Strike, map-based skirmish rules for Albedo, a science fiction role-playing game. Published by Thoughts and Images. I'm afraid I've never heard of it. Um, buy back issues of uh, Challenge. And then we've got some reviews for Dark Future, which I've covered on the channel before, a um, Car Wars type game, and Space Hulk, which as, as I just mentioned, ga um, another Games Workshop game. We've got ideas for a Spelljammer here, or a review of Spelljammer rather. Some classifieds, and the Starfleet Technical Manual, Valentine Books 1st Edition. Um, make an offer to Fred Schiff, uh, 603 Mead Terrace, South Hempstead. I'm guessing it's gone by now. Um, what's happening next month in the future, or the next issue? You know, Survivor's Guide to the United Kingdom, Imperial, mm, um, Crossburn, Join the Search for CivGov Army Supply Convoy, Mega Traveller Ideas, Shadowrun, and more. And In My Opinion by Mark W. Miller. We've got an advert for Space 1889, and then an advert for Mega Traveller on the back cover. Now, there are so many useful bits in here. Even if you don't want ideas for Star Wars adventures, the fact that the Twilight 2000 adventure can be transplanted into cyberpunk and many others. You know, a bunch of guns for hire end up shipwrecked on an island, suggested the Shetland Islands, as they're trying to make a deal for oil. We've got Mega Traveller adventures in here, which you could easily transplant into Star Wars just as a different world with different setting. This is so useful to have adventures, and why I absolutely adored these magazines. Anyway, I think I've witted on for quite long enough, as usual, so thank you very, very much for watching. But as always, most of all, you look after yourselves, and I'll catch you later. Bye now.